Hi, Rachel. Thanks for joining us. Um, it's a pleasure Hi, to have you here today you. with us. Um, and we're really looking forward to, to hearing from you. Rachel, could you just first of all introduce yourself and um, your family and, and why you use Acorns? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my name's Rachel. Um, I live in Warsaw with my uh, partner, Jonathan, my daughter, Isabel, who is five, and our son, Charlie, who is nine. And Charlie has used the hospice for nine years now. His condition is, his main condition is 1P36 deletion syndrome. So it's a very small amount of his first chromosome is missing and that's what's causing him to have all of his uh, his issues really he has further conditions but it's all been caused from the, that first deletion um charlie's a very very cheeky boy who's got a wicked laugh and he finds the most awful things funny if somebody falls over he will laugh at them he's um he's the most gorgeous little boy and regardless of whatever's going on with him he's always got a smile on his face and he always fights through everything um and as i say with with acorns being involved for the past nine years their help is just in absolutely couldn't live without it rachel tell me a little bit about some of the ways that acorns supports you and your family yeah acorns um supports us in a lot of ways the the first one um is we get approximately around 60 nights a year um at acorns as, as full respite so we get a, a rest from charlie's uh, medical needs from um, the, the day in day out care that um, he relies upon 24 hours a day from us uh, and also to give his sister time because we don't always get she doesn't get as much time um, as we'd like to to give her uh, realistically on top of Charlie's care um, on top of that we are supported through our family worker Bimla who is absolutely incredible she will help us in any situation for example, uh, a few years back, I went through a bit of a mental crisis and she got me in touch with um, some mental health, uh, a counsellor. And that at the time I didn't know I needed it, but she was able to tell me that this is here if you need it and I can arrange it. And she was able to do that. Um, she's helped us with many things from, it's not just, oh, book a stay. She calls us regularly and checks in to see if we need anything, any help with anything, if we need something pushing with a, a social worker, for example. Um, and then as, as well as all that, we've got, we use the sibling groups. Isabel's recently started the sibling group, um, which especially in the current times has been amazing for her, being able to speak to other children her age and do something fun with all, all the other children. Um, and then as well as all that, um, I access the, the mums group, which is a massive support. It, it just feels like there's a, an endless amount of um, support available from Acorns for us as a family. Now, about a year ago, pandemic hit. Um, yeah. What was that like when that first, when the, when the, you know, the, the first lockdown, the pandemic first hit? What was that like for you as a family and, and, and how did Acorns support you during that scary time? Um, obviously it happened very quickly um, the, the first lockdown and nothing was really understood um, we we knew that we had to protect charlie initially we didn't really know enough about it to, to have a full understanding so um as everyone else did we went into lockdown and within a couple of weeks we were told that charlie was clinically extremely vulnerable and he's a shield um, and initially the the guidance for it was you weren't even allowed in your back garden it was it was horrific um and it's heartbreaking seeing a non-verbal little boy who who normally <laughs> who normally um knows exactly what he wants without talking and is used to getting on the bus every morning going to school is used to seeing nana um through the week and and all of it just stopped dead um and we had this sudden realization come over so well we're shielded um, but the only way to actually shield Charlie is for all of us to shield, which then, of course, brought up issues with um, shopping. We couldn't go to any supermarkets. Um, we couldn't go out on walks like other people because of the risk. Um, we were very, very isolated. 
and I think it just got to a point for us where we we just felt forgotten and didn't know what we could do and then we had a phone call from Acorns uh, from Bimler and she asked us how we were and at that point I got very upset and I was like I'm not doing very well at all um, everything's getting on top of us um, I explained the issues we're having with supermarkets and uh, the the fight there was initially to, to get slots to try and even just get home delivery just wouldn't happen um, and she was like a, a little fairy godmother and she just come out and she's like well we can get you we've got some food here we can put your shop together we can get it delivered to your house so you've got food in and at that point there was just this relief that that came over us because we weren't then stressing continually about not being able to get food in even now we're having phone calls from Bimla every two to three weeks um she'll call us up check if we need anything just being able to know that if there's something that we really can't deal with that we have that next point of contact as a family who are who who were struggling that that is invaluable and we will never be able to to thank icons enough for it last summer and um, things got quite difficult for you and the family and just explain a little bit about what happened and, and how Acorns stepped in during that, that summer period. Um, okay, so so last summer we hit what, what we call breaking point. Um, I suffer with um, a lot of medical conditions, MS being the main one. There was points where I was struggling to get up in the morning and um, I, I physically couldn't help John at all. So John had spent the past months running around after Isabel, Charlie and me. And to put that on one person, at some point something's got to give and we, we hit breaking point. He was wiped out. We spoke to Acorns and we said, is there any way that you're offering emergency stays at all? or?" Um, any form of respite that we could access um, and oh, to, to our delight Icorn said that they would be able to have him for an emergency stay so then he was able to go in for this um, four night stay and in those four days we slept without having to get up in the night to move his positions any suctioning any anything anything that we normally do at night time we we actually got to to actually just sleep and the the difference between a full night's sleep and a few hours here and there is massive and that in itself was absolutely incredible but then it also meant that we were able to give his sister a little bit more time because she's all children in this pandemic have really have struggled so to be able to give that time to Isabel um, was just incredible and by all means when we took Charlie into that hospice he was screaming and clapping he was smiling and, and that's what he does every time he goes through those doors it's just a big smile on his face and nothing but excitement and then normally he doesn't want to come home. <laughs> Could you explain a little bit maybe about what your life might be like if if there wasn't any acorns or acorns didn't exist what would your life be like? Um, without icons in our life, we would we would struggle. It, it's a uh, oh, we we wouldn't have anywhere else to go. There's no other service like icons. When we first went to icons, I will never forget the first ever stay. I was exhausted. I hadn't slept for four months, and they took him away. They sent me to bed, and then I got a knock on the door. Uh, at about four o'clock in the afternoon they said we've just bought your tea and biscuits and that and I'll, I'll never forget just the relief of having that first sleep and literally without acorns we wouldn't have that respite we wouldn't have any form of respite that that comes anywhere close to that and the staff are our family and Charlie loves them dearly we love them dearly and as I say we would be completely lost without acorns so we're very very grateful for all of you <laughs> do 
Wow. Um, Rachel, thank you. It's been a real pleasure to speak to you and, and thanks for sharing your story today. Um, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. No, it's lovely speaking to you, David. Thank you.